Hello everyone, welcome to your 24th C++ Cube game tutorial. So let's just go ahead and continue implementing the, Q, uh, the button class that we've created. Um, let's implement the mouse press event. Okay, when the mouse is pressed on a button, we simply want to activate the clicked signal. And to do that, we do emit clicked. Okay, and then whatever we connect this clicked signal to, will be activated once the click signal is emitted. So that's how it works. All right, let's go ahead and implement the hover enter. So what happens when we hover over? We want to change color to, uh, to cyan, from dark cyan to just cyan. So we'll go ahead and create a cube brush. We'll do brush.setstyle. Um, Qt solid brush dot set color Qt uh, just cyan okay and then set the brush to brush okay and simple as that now we'll do a similar thing for the leave event except we want to change the color back. So let's just go ahead and I don't know why my indenting is messing up. It bothers me a lot for some reason. Okay, anyways, I took care of that. So let's just copy and paste this code. What is going on here? Okay, change color to dark cyan. So when we leave, it'll go back to dark cyan. So change it to dark cyan. Okay, simple as that. Now let's go ahead. Okay, we've Im we've uh, finished implementing the button class. So now the next thing that I want to do is basically initially I want a main menu to appear. I don't want the game to just start right away. So let's go ahead and make this main menu. I'm going to create a new member function for the game class called display main menu, which will handle this. So go in here in the game and let's give it a new uh, new member function. We're going to call it display main menu. Okay. And let's define it. Add definition. But before defining it, let's go inside our main.cpp. After creating an instance of our game, after showing it, we don't want to immediately start it. We want to display the main menu. Now, the main menu um, is going to display a play button. And when that play button is clicked, it's going to activate the start method. And we're going to achieve that by connecting the play button's click signal to the game class's start slot, which also means now we have to go in the game class and make this a slot. So let's simply um, take it out from the regular methods okay, and put it in a slot section, public slots. There we go. And remember, if you're going to use signals and slots in your custom classes, make sure you have this QObject macro and make sure it inherits from QObject, which QGraphicView does. So we're set there. Okay, so we'll go back inside our, uh, what was it, game.cpp and finish implementing this display main menu. So what's the first thing that we want to do is basically, we okay, so we want to uh, make this text and then we want to make this button and this button. So as you can see, all of them are centered on the x-axis. And they're down by about 200 pixels, I would estimate, from each other. So simple enough. And um, we're going to have to center these. All right. Let's go ahead and start working on that. All right, the first thing that we want to do is create the uh, title text, the little title. Okay, and we're going to make that a Q graphics text item. And we'll make it um, title text is going to be, well, we're going to pass in a Q string. Um, we're going to call it uh, hex orbs with a Z. Um, okay. And then that's it. And now we want to 
make this uh, font a little bigger. And in order to do that, you simply make a font object, a Q font object. We'll call it title font. And then we'll do title font dot. Uh, oh, actually, we don't even have to do that. We'll just do this. So in the constructor, the first parameter describes the family, font family. I'm going to choose Comic Sans. And then the second parameter, the size. I'm going to choose 50. All right. And now title text um, set font to this newly title font that we just created. Okay. Now we want to set the position. And remember, we want to center it on the x axis. So we're going to do uh, basically, we'll do int b the buttons x position, or not buttons x position, this is the title text x position is going to be equal to this um, width. So the width of the screen divided by 2, and then shifted back to the left by. Um, half of the width of the actual title text. So we're going to do title text. Um, it's called bounding rect dot width divided by two. And then for the y position, I'll just kind of uh, title text y position. I will just guess maybe uh, hmm, 150 pixels. And now let's do title text set position to title text x position and title text y position. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add it to the scene. Title text, add item, title text. Okay, we've created the title text. Now let's go ahead and create the create the play button. Okay, so button, we're gonna call it play button. New button, and remember we have to Oh, let's go ahead and include the button class. Include the um, button class. And also we need to include QGraphX text item because we're also using that. Okay. So we have to pass into the constructor of our button class the name of the button. And we're going to name this button play. Okay. And now let's set the X position, button X position, uh, to basically similar to what we did with the title text. So I'll go ahead and just copy and paste this to make it easier. Okay, and then here we're going to do play button, bounding rat width I2. And we're going to make the button's Y position a little bit lower, so 275 roughly. Okay, and uh, play button set position to button x position and button y position okay and now let's connect this play button to something whenever the play, when the play button is clicked we want to call the start um, slot of the game class so we'll do connect play buttons signal okay which signal the click and then we want to connect it to this game classes which slot the start slot. There we go. And now, last thing, we have to add it to the scene. You always have to add two graphic items to the scene before you see them. Okay, so now we'll create the quit button. And uh, so, button, call it quit button, new Q, uh, it's not a Q button, it's our own button. Q string, quit. Okay, and then we're going to do a similar thing for its X position. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. We'll call it um, quit. So this is going to be quit X position. So it's going to be with minus the quit buttons bounding rect. And then we'll do quit button Y position uh, even lower. So 350 because that's the last um, button. And then we'll do quit button uh, set position to these variables, quit x position and quit y position. Don't know why I tabbed there. Um, okay. And now let's quit this, uh, let's connect this quit button. So we want to connect it to the close function. So we want the program to exit when this button is clicked. So connect, um, quit buttons, signal, 
clicked to this game's slot. Uh, it's called, I believe it's called closed. Yeah, it's the first one. Okay, there we go. Now let's go add it. Add item, quick button. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and do build, clean all, build, run to make, and let's just check the logic of the game. So in our main, we create a game, an instance of our game. We show it, and then we do display main menu. What does display main menu do? Let's go ahead and follow it. It creates the title font, the play button, and the quit button. It connects them properly. Good. So now what happens when we click the start button, for example? Let's see. Okay. So the start button will then create the hex void. Now before doing this, we want to do one final thing. Um, I'll, I'll actually leave this, and I'll show you guys. So right now, if I do play, this is still here. So to get rid of all this stuff, I will simply, before starting, I'll clear the screen. So I'll basically do um, seeing clear. And that's it. And that should take care of it. Let me just check how much, how long I've been recording because I don't want it. Okay, 11 minutes. That's not too bad. Now let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so here I have my game. As you can see, when I hover, they change colors. And uh, let's click quit. It just exits. And now let's run it again. And when I click play, it plays. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, as usual, uh, please let me know what you guys would like me to cover. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.